The land area from which water enters a water body, such as a river or lake, is called a watershed. Watersheds are made up of all the water bodies, land use and land cover, and organisms within the watershed. All of the precipitation that falls within a watershed eventually finds its way to the lowest point of the watershed. Smaller watersheds may flow and combine into a larger watershed. An illustration would be the many tributary streams and rivers that eventually flow into the Mississippi River. Source water protection is the first important step in a multiple barrier approach to safeguarding drinking water and protecting public health. Protected watersheds also increase the infiltration of water into soil and recharge to groundwater aquifers, lowering the potential for flooding and erosion and increasing groundwater reserves. Forest fires, flooding, erosion, and landslides can impact water quality. So do human-initiated activities like mining, industry, logging, agriculture, and commercial and residential development. Impacts to source water quality may be point source or non-point source in origin. Non-point source pollution occurs when surface runoff moves across or into the ground, picking up pollutants along the way and carrying them into the surface water or groundwater supply. Non-point source pollution isn't generally attributable to a single factor, but is the total sum of diffused and widespread surface contamination within the watershed. Some examples of non-point source pollution would include stormwater runoff, fertilizer and pesticide runoff from farm fields, and sediment erosion from ground disturbing activities such as logging and construction. Point source pollution comes from a distinct identifiable source, such as a solid waste landfill, leaking underground or above ground storage tank, or wastewater discharge from an industrial facility or sewage treatment plant. Point source pollution has traditionally been referred to as coming from a pipe, but may also be the result of a spill or discharge from a specific site or location. Another example of a significant point source of pollution is confined animal feeding operations, or CAFOs. In the U.S., estimates indicate that the quantity of animal waste generated is 13 times greater than human sanitary waste. Obviously, all of that animal waste is being disposed of somewhere and can ultimately end up in raw surface water supplies. Animal waste that finds its way into source water is of particular concern because it may contain pathogens such as Cryptosporidium, Giardia, E. coli, and Salmonella. These can cause serious gastrointestinal illnesses and even death in humans with weakened immune systems. Animal waste can also contain nutrients that promote growth of potentially undesirable algae and other nuisance plants.